Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning, Tom. We are hoping today to pick up our first win in 2018 so far. Come be Jesus, is that? I right? know. That's what, that's what it is, mate. That's yeah. that's the stat. Well, so it's a beautiful February day, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's lovely. You can actually see out the window. It's not it's not exactly raining down with sunshine, is it? But it is raining. Yeah. Lovely. A couple of new signings in the transfer window we should probably mention. Yes. Stephen Henderson back from uh, West Ham. We sold him to, didn't we, when he went in 2012. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing him. I think he's featuring over Luke McGee today. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand that, Tom, really, but let's see what happens. It's, it's obviously, jack has got his reasons, hasn't he? Uh, Anton Walks has come in, hasn't he, from Tottenham, Tom. He looks a decent player, I think. I'm not sure where Kenny's going to fit him in, whether Thompson's going to drop to the bench or what, I don't know. But really, it's uh, interesting to see the changes, isn't it? And Cole Bennett's gone, hasn't he? And Milan Lalkovic, weren't yeah. expecting that, were no, we? No, weren't expecting that either, so... Um I don't know, Kenny Jackett's got his reasons, let's see, he's the guy who's got to make the decisions. we just got to, we just got to trust Keep him Keep the faith doing. and trust what he's doing, Yeah, I think. exactly, that's what I'm saying, Tom. That's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. Should we get down to the Toby Carvery and get some music on, because I'm absolutely famished. I am starving too, let's, let's get to the Toby. We love the these days, these days. These days. After a lacklustre January, today Pompey face fellow promotion pushing and previous promotion prevailers, Doncaster Rovers, hoping to secure all three points for the first time in 2018. We're here joined this afternoon, Kieran from Pompey University, journalism student. Good afternoon. This is 4-0 written all over it. So a very good afternoon and a very warm welcome back to the Toby Carvery Hillsy Portsmouth ahead of today's game, Portsmouth versus Doncaster Rovers. We're working alongside Pompey in the community once again this afternoon. Um, our brand new Fauna written all over it merchandise store will be online straight after the MK Dons game and all you can choose to donate a little bit to Pompey in the community on that website just to support our charity. So um, that'd be good if you could do that if you want to buy some merchandise. On to today's game and to Andrew for Team of the Week this week. Yes, good afternoon, Tom. Team of the week this week. Thanks for having me back again. Team of the Week this, to this week, Tom, goes to AFC Bournemouth for their 3-0 win away at Chelsea midweek. Cracking result, and uh, I think that might put them safe, actually, this season. Wins like that. Let's move on to fauna results across the country this week. We've got one or two to give you, not very many. Once again, if you want to let us know about any local fauna results across the country, a couple of people have this week, but let us know. F uh, Facebook's in the description, so Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. You can hit us up on all of those. However, Asparta from Cumbria beat Wigton Town 4-0 at the weekend as sent in. This is a fun name for this guy. His name is Podge is Rouge. This is a great username, isn't it? Can we just change it to Podge is Rog? Yeah. Just because it sounds better. Also, in the Scottish Cup fourth round, Albion Rovers lost 4-0 at home to St Johnston. Um, in our league on Saturday, Bradford City were turned over 4-0 at home to AFC Wimbledon. So that's a great result for them. And finally, sent in by Leon, Leanne Howard and L Hayward. Um, M Poyley beat Palmero 4-0 in the Italian Series B, which is their equivalent of the Championship midweek. So thank you very much to all of them. Let's get down to Fratton Park and interview some Pompey and Don Doncaster fans this afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Good yes, good afternoon, mate. How are you doing? You well? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. Nice sunny day at Fratton Park again. As you can see, yeah, um, very nice, isn't it? Just, just how we love it, you know. Yeah, what I mean? that's what we like to yeah. see, isn't it? How, what are you thinking for today's game then? I'm always thinking four 0 all are over you? it, yeah. But today, 
we will win. I always feel that we're always going to win until uh, it changes. But up until yeah. that point, we're always going to be winners. And, not, and that's the way I like it. Yeah. Donny fan. Don Costa fan, yeah. How are you feeling? Draw. Draw? Yeah, 1-1. One, one. I score it. No, I, th I think Who one, is one. scoring? Neither team because yeah, it could be anyone. Could be Andy Butler if he's fit. Baudry, Marquis, there, could be anyone. Is there anyone we need to look out for today? Coppinger, yeah, if, he, if he's playing. Player. Coppinger's a good player. So you're on 4 0 written all over it, and how are you feeling for today's game? Either a draw or maybe a 2 1 Donny result. You never know. It's yeah. a bit uh, you're confident. I won't say confident because we're not the best, but best man winner, eh? That'd be a good game. I mean, Pompey's. Got a fantastic uh, following down. I mean, 17, 18,000 fans behind you each week is going to be brilliant. But um, we've got two untried centre backs um, playing today, so that'll be interesting and see if uh, Kenny Jacket puts a lot of pressure on our defence today. Why are you so uh, confident? I just think Pompey a bit underperforming at the minute. You're you know? below us in the table, mate. I know, but we're coming for you, like playoffs, mate. Watch. You reckon? Playoffs. Yes. Aye. Nice week, yeah, Johnny. Sure. Boys. All right, mate. Thank you, you very much. Are you on yeah. four nil written all over it, mate? And how are you feeling for today's game? It's going to be a draw. Is it? Yeah, draw specialist. Draw specialist we are. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling about today's game, I'm mate? Meet you. What yeah. do you reckon? What do I reckon? I reckon Fauna written all over it. But if Pompey play well, and I think we could beat them. Oh yeah, what's going on with the gnome? The, the gnome. Um, I got presented with. I've done all the away travel for this. Supporters club, and I got presented with it about four or five years ago. And uh, you take it all around the country, all on my holidays, everywhere I go on holiday, take it. And my partner uh, used to take it with it, but unfortunately, she died a year ago last week, sort of thing. And she used to take it to all the games, home and away. She's been down here with it, and uh, um, it, it, sometimes, although his head fell off at Bradford City and his arm fell off last week going to the home game, but uh, look at this. Paul Mayfield, EFL Fan of the Year last year. Unfortunately, I just beat Big John to the uh, Division 2 award. People are looking for me somewhere today. He'll be hitting me with one of his bells. But uh, no, Pump is always a ground uh, fantastic to come down to. What's our form like? We haven't won in 2018. Oh, that's all right. However, you should always keep the faith with these things, and I reckon you enjoy your burger. It is. It is, is it a good burger? Yeah. We do yeah. good burgers down yeah, there, don't do, we? To be fair. Anyway, enjoy the game, mate. So Thank you very much. Are you going to get to see any of the game at all? Or? We may see a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, what are you going to say to teams who have won this year? No. It's going to be a tough one, isn't it? I fear nil-nil written all over it. Go to win 3-1! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Say that again for me. Say that what did you say? On camera. Sorry. Have you been down the pub? Yeah, we have actually. Have you? Yeah. That's probably good. It explains it then, doesn't it? Alright guys, enjoy the game. You too. Good afternoon everyone, half time here at Fran Park, Pompey 1, Doncaster Rovers 1, wasn't the best of starts, however, it improved as the half went on. Yes mate, I think you're right Tom, uh, first 10 minutes I thought it was all Doncaster, uh, and then for the last 30 minutes it's all us in it, we're all over them, mate, 1-1 um, one, one half time, it looks like we should have been 2 or 3 ahead I think at this point, so see what happens, playing towards the Fran in the second half. And let's see what happens second half, mate. The only change I think I'd like to see at half time, Tom, is to think Oliver Hawkins is a bit isolated up there on his own when they're passing the long ball up to him. So that needs to change. But I don't know what you do. You maybe put Pritman on instead, perhaps. Might be a better choice, I think, second half. Let's all right. All right, go and have a wee. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. See you in a bit. Bye, mate. Yeah. See you later. Hey, one, two, where was it? We grew into it, we weren't too good in the first 10 15 minutes, but yeah, we've got into it, got the equaliser. I think we're going to kick on from here. I'm being Mr. Positive today, we're going to kick on. But I'm not quite, viewers, you haven't seen the first 45 minutes. What he's, the stuff he's been coming out with are quite sort of. Yeah, but from now on, I'm, right, I'm back. Oh, you're back. I'm back, yeah. Well, anyway, back to the football. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Next. Good half. Uh, slow, like you said, out of the box. I think when we came out, looked a bit lacklustre, didn't know what we were doing, sort of a few new incomings in January. All over the place, then the goal went in, and then I think we sort of clicked and thought, well, we've got to step up now and do something. And to be fair, we've been better after that. We were all over him. These two really wanted to go to MK Dons next weekend. Myself and Andrew will be there. Big show coming up next weekend. However, our 
after the MK Dons game, which I think is more exciting than the actual football, we are launching a brand new 4 0 written all over it merchandise online store. Can you please explain to the viewers, the pair of you, your excitement ahead of this massive event? Well, look forward to getting me hat, Tom, to be fair. Hat, jumper, fleece, the lot. 4 0 written all over it, dot online. That's where you got to go to get all the stuff. Can't, can't be it. No. All the stuff. All the stuff. I've always wanted a pair of 4 0 written all over it curtains. However, since you're not doing him in that line, he can do with a bobolat. I'd quite like a hoodie. And where can they go for that? Uh, they can go. Have you forgotten? www.4nilwrittenallovrit.online <laughs> online. That's what I was just about to say. Did you forget it? Yeah, yeah slightly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go there and you get all the stuff you want. Plenty of stuff, stuff, stuff and more stuff, but just not curtains. This is what you can get online after the MK Thons game. And or a bobble hat. Yeah, and plenty of other stuff, which I'm sure they're going to do. Cooking utensils, chopping boards, coming soon. Right, that whole bit that I just recorded didn't have the microphone on, so we'll, we'll do it again. <laughs> Professional here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sorry, you would have watched about half a minute of no sound with yeah. a bit of music over it, so yeah. sorry for that. Yeah. But it did finish. Pompey 2, Doncaster, Doncaster 2. Rovers 2. Yeah. Um, mate, I tell you what, that was eventful, wasn't it? Yeah. It was I feel, feeling a bit of deja vu here, aren't you? That's a great <laughs> we just said out. this, haven't we? <laughs> That was eventful though, wasn't it? Yes, mate, it was. What a good afternoon out. It was a good laugh, oh, good fun. Good... Cal Naismith, absolute, absolute hero. Oh, what a hero, mate. What a the whole legend. Team actually heroes, but especially yeah, Cal Naismith. Exactly, <laughs> mate. Oi, mate! Cal absolute hero. <laughs> MK Dons, mate, next weekend. You're looking yeah, forward, looking forward to, to it. That, mate. MK Dons taking 5,200 Pompey fans to that one. We hope you're going to enjoy the video. It's going to be a massive one with Alex on the negative, with Carolina joining us for that one. My many thanks to Kieran from Pompey University. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate you coming. And that is it from us here on Fauna Written All Over It. Thank you very much for watching. What I want to say, keep the faith. Are you cold? Freezing, mate. We'll see you next Saturday. Keep the faith and play up Pompey. Play up Pompey. Go south. There's the team.